For the most part, his style is very similar. He's the same mistakes that he had when we were kids. He's skillful, but um, there's limits. He has limits. He's not the better boxer. What's good, fam? It's your boy, Jose, and welcome back to The Jose Show, where we keep it 100 with the hottest takes in sports and entertainment. Today, we're breaking down a boxing match that had everyone talking. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. Let's dive into this ring rumble that's shaking up the sports world. From ranting about the Illuminati and aliens to jokes about being coked out, Garcia's social posts have been a roller coaster. One minute, he's all about beating cancer with just water and coffee. And the next, he's flipping from praising Jesus to making wild threats in public spaces. And in the mix of all this, he's slinging serious bets about his weigh-in, staking half a million for each pound he's over. Garcia's been open about his mental health battles, sharing his struggles with depression, but with his recent antics, folks are split. Some say he's just amping up the drama to hype the fight. Classic Garcia using his social media savviness to keep us glued. Others are genuinely concerned, wondering if we're watching a man who's losing grip, caught in a downward spiral. It's a complex picture. If I look right, it goes left. Or if I look left, it goes right. If I look up, it goes down. I just didn't know where to go. It was that crazy. My mind was just like, I'm losing it. Something happened to me. I don't know what happened. Is this just the pressure of the spotlight? Or is there something more we should be worried about? Should Garcia even be stepping into the ring in this state? Or does he need a timeout to focus on his health? So what's your take? Is Garcia's behavior a calculated move to draw eyes to the fight or is it a real cry for help drop your thoughts below because this isn't just about boxing anymore it's about a man living his life in the public eye wrestling with demons that might be too big to box away all right let's set the scene saturday night under the bright lights ryan garcia known for his flashy social media and controversial antics faced off against devin haney one of the slickest boxers out there. Now, Garcia wasn't just fighting Haney. He was battling doubts with a training camp full of conspiracy theories and bizarre posts that had folks questioning his focus. Plus drama at the weigh-in, Garcia tipped the scales at 143.2 pounds, overshooting the super lightweight limit by over three pounds. The penalty? a whopping $1.5 million out of Garcia's pocket straight to Haney. But guess what? That didn't slow Garcia down. Former boxing champion Oscar De La Hoya hinted in an interview that Garcia could bring in a total close to $30 million for this fight. There is no doubt that Garcia has done everything he can to sell the fight. His massive Instagram and Twitter following earned him an extra 5% of the split. Now let's talk about the fight. First round kicks off and bam, Garcia lands a left hook that sends shock waves. He wasn't just there to show up, he was there to conquer. Haney gets rocked early and by the seventh, he's hitting the canvas. Not once, but three times throughout the night with Garcia almost knocking him out by the 11th. Despite missing out on the title due to the weight mishap, Garcia claimed a majority decision, and folks, the crowd was electric. But here's where it gets crazy. Rumors swirled that Garcia placed a $2 million bet on himself to win, turning that into a cool $12 million payout. While some fans called it bold, Others whispered, scandal. Was it a high risk, high reward move or something more calculated? His social media blew up post fight. Some praised Garcia's guts for betting on himself while others flagged it, hinting at potential legal and ethical issues. Imagine that, betting millions on your victory? That's either confidence or craziness and Garcia's walking that fine line. Garcia's has been all over social media, 
taunting, joking, and throwing around conspiracy theories left and right. But after his victory, he hit us with a whole new angle. Claiming his antics were all about shedding light on the truth, he suggests his behavior was a lesson, a way to help the youth wake up to real happiness. Yeah, you heard that right. Garcia is playing the role of a social media philosopher now. He even brought up his ADHD, saying it's part of why he seems all over the place. It's his way of telling the boxing world to chill out, that he's got this, despite the noise. But it leaves us wondering, is Garcia just playing the game, using controversy to keep the spotlight burning bright? Or is there a method to his madness, a genuine attempt to change the narrative around happiness and success? And with all the cash drama, let's not forget the actual boxing. Garcia's performance was a masterclass in resilience and power, proving that despite the offering circus, the man can throw down with the best. So what's next for Ryan Garcia? And what about Devin Haney? This fight wasn't just a battle of fists, it was a clash of futures. Haney's looking to rebound, while Garcia's star keeps rising, controversy and all. Hit up the comments, was Garcia's big bet a boss move or a bad call? And can Haney bounce back from this bruising? Smash that like button if you love this breakdown, subscribe for more of the Jose Show, and keep it locked right here for the real talk and raw truth. Until next time, keep swinging, keep dreaming, and peace out.